So I've got something here today, guys. I think it's going to be pretty cool. This is the Lock and Lube Easy Prime Grease Gun. Now you can get this in lever like this or pistol, and it will run you $100. But you do get a few extra things for that money. You know, a normal grease gun like this would typically run you about $35. So for people across the pond, uh, the company that you're probably going to find this more common over there is Pressel with the Easy Fill 400. But on the end here, we have the lock and lube coupler. I've been meaning to try this out. Now, normally this would retail for about 30 bucks. And then also the swivel point right here. Now you will have to put the hose on right here. On the face, this is just a solid connection point to hold the coupler. This is not a fill port. It looks like you could take this plug out here and put a low pressure fill port in if you were using bulk filling. Now on the tube itself, another thing that's interesting about this is you can see it's coarse thread to make it a little bit easier when threading on. The big thing, there is no fowler with a spring to fight with. Now, what also comes in the box is, so of course, replacement jaws for the coupler, and then 10 reusable follower caps. So let's go ahead and see if this works and how easy it is to prime. Now, by the directions, you're supposed to just insert the cap there in the tube. Push it till the grease starts to come out a little bit there. And then, of course, screw it in here. To the grease gun loosely. I'm gonna push a little more on that fowler plate. Back on the handle there as I screw it in. So there you go, seven pumps, and it is primed. So we'll go out to the excavator. I've got to grease it up, just used it. So we'll go ahead and do that, see what happens. So I already cleaned the fittings. Let's go ahead and see what happens. So here you have it. Seems to work quite well, like a normal lever style grease gun there, other than there's no follower. And I do like this locking coupler. I will say, you may have noticed, I could not get it on uh, to grease the thumb cylinder there. 
Now it is tricky with a regular coupler. I need to change those to 90s. So once I do that, then of course I can easily get in there and use this. But as you look in the barrel there, maybe you can see, maybe not. You know, I used almost half of the actual grease tube. That's one thing that's pretty neat as well, is all you gotta do is look in the base there and now you know how much grease is, is left in the grease gun. Yes, on one with a follower, you can pull the rod out and it'll give you kind of an indication of how much is left. But here it's easy as looking in there, yeah, you see what you got. Now, once the tube is fully dispensed, of course, all you do is normally unscrew this and then you're gonna push that follower cap out the bottom of the cardboard tube and reuse it. So at the end of the day, was it easy to prime? Yes. Is it a lot better than fighting that spring and follower? Yeah, I think so. So I know what you're thinking. Can we adapt this to a cordless grease gun? And I will do that in an upcoming video. But anyhow, let me know in the comments below what you think. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll catch you on another one.